Hello everybody, this is John Evans, and you're watching another episode of Mid Mod Money, the show that teaches you how to buy and sell vintage items for a profit. Thanks for tuning in to this very special episode. Special for a couple of reasons. One, we find out who won the treasure, the free giveaway from last week's episode, the Brass Dolphin, and we find out via the Mid Mod Money prize wheel and if you see your name on the mid mod money prize wheel thank my girlfriend christina because she is the half of this operation she's my tech guy she's my lamp guy my my frame guy so um wears many hats in this organization now um i want to get to this haul now i promised a two-part haul and that is sort of a lie because when I got in there and started looking at everything, I realized this is a three-part haul. Uh, to actually talk about what I found at the end of this, I'm going to need more time. So I had to spread this out because there is literally so much stuff from this Rossville end of summer days festival I went to because before we even got there, we were at Goodwills and we were at indoor flea markets and antique malls. So uh, this was six straight days of heavy thrifting, heavy garage sailing. Uh, so the, when I uncovered this, this has literally been sitting in boxes in my basement. So some of this stuff I haven't even researched, but I have a good idea of what it's worth. So let's, uh, take a look at what I found in its entirety. Part two of the Rossville End of Summer Days Hall. And I want to thank Andrea, my girlfriend's sister, who uh, we stayed at her place and was chauffeuring us to and from these places. Totally couldn't have done it without you, Andrea. And uh, thank you for facilitating this trip that we've done now for three years in a row, or two years in a row. Um, okay, or was it three? I don't know. This is the first thing I'm going to show you. I actually found three of these. Now, these in the in good colors are fantastic. This one says school, mate. School, mate. it's an Australian one. This is like a crocodile dundee tie and it's the school, mate. Um it's tiny. It's like uh for you know, a single lunch, I guess. But these uh buck, two bucks. I got a third one. Yeah, there's a purple one. So five bucks on all of these. I'll get 10 bucks a piece for them all day long. That's why I have a booth. Throw stuff like that in there. It eventually disappears. Next thing I found, also bulky. Now, you don't have to have a booth to sell stuff like this. You could Facebook Marketplace one of these, these wicker shelves and a wood shelf from the Philippines. People buy stuff like this all the time. This was three and two. I'm going to sell this for 50 bucks, 25 each for these vintage shelves. These are always, everyone I ever get, especially in the wicker, sells very quickly. People love to hang a nice wicker shelf. It's true. Uh, next thing I found, a set of four 1970s canisters. They have lids. You're going to have to trust me on that. Well, maybe I'll dig one out. I'll dig out a lid. Boom. And that's even got the price on it. That was handy. $2 for a set of four. This is like 20, 25 bucks. They're literally giving it to me. Um, the next thing I found was this monkey pod wood. That's what this kind of wood is called. Monkey pod. Usually carved into little shapes. This is a Lazy Susan, has the classic 60s or 70s green felt. That's how you know it's old. Uh, three bucks. I'm going to sell this for about $18, $20, somewhere in there. Nice Lazy Susan. And next up, oh, what is this? Just a jar with a lid, really. But uh, the top's green, bottom's white. I don't know if that's the intended... Uh, was supposed to happen. This was a buck fifty. I'm gonna get nine for that because people love the artsy fartsy glass, hand blown glass. I found this tiki mug. Now this is from Japan. It says designed by Kane. I don't know who that is, but it's from a restaurant. Kan Tiki. Of course Thor Heyerdahl if you really want to Go back to the origins. Uh, but anyway, this is, uh, geez, this is a dollar. 
that didn't say that, but this was a buck. I remember getting it. Uh, garage sailing. And it's probably a $12 item, even without researching it. Could be a little more. Uh, at an indoor flea market, I found this beauty. This absolute stunner. Cool 70s pattern. Very nice look. I think that's a Rubbermaid product. Uh, this is two bucks, and it has cups inside it. They don't have anything on them, but trust me, there's uh, like four or five cups inside this for two bucks. I mean, this is 15 bucks all day long. Um, and this, I've had these and sold these. I paid two dollars for this, two bucks. These bumpy pitchers, glass pitchers, man, they sell lickety split, uh, 20 bucks. Yep, yellow, they have an amber one. This is the green. This will sell for 20, 22, maybe even. They sell very quickly. Keep that in mind if you're out there. Now look at this. Two awesome. These were a dollar a piece at Goodwill. I've had these before. I've sold these before. Uh, that's how I know they will sell. Almost psychedelic soup. Far out, man. Um, it reminds me of the story, the time when I went to a restaurant and asked uh, what the soup of the day was, and they said, Mindstrone. Almost fell over. She was absolutely serious. Mindstrone, she told me. Whatever. Um, this, oh, I'm going to get 12 bucks for those, pair of those. Um, these were a dollar, this was a dollar at Millie's. Tobacco stuff always sells this ashtray. It's cool 60s, 70s ashtray. This is a buck. It's going to sell for nine. And then this. I found this guy, this cool mid-century modern, I thought this was Dansk, it's not, I can't even, I'm going to have to, maybe. let's talk about this in the comments, who made that, I can't even read it, I don't have my readers with me, look at that, you get a bifocal perhaps, uh, anyway, this was a buck, without researching it, I'm going to sell this, Where's the, yeah, I took off the label earlier, this was one the 99 cents. I'm going to get uh, probably 15 bucks for this little candle holder. Iron heavy. Um, speaking of buying things for a dollar, how about that? This was one dollar. This is, I believe, Fenton glass. Um, all of this... Uh, what do they call it? hobnail? If if you're looking to research, if you find something like this, this bumpy is called hobnail, and this is called crimped. So if you're trying to describe your stuff in a Google search, hobnail crimp. So this was a buck without even looking it up. It's probably fifteen dollars American. That's what I'm gonna ask for it, and that's without even looking it up. So Fenton glass. Is there an expert out there? Let me know. Let me know, Fenton people. All right. Uh, the next things you see were in a bundle, and I paid about 11 bucks for everything. This person had really good taste. First of all, trinket boxes of any kind sell very well. This is a little blue ceramic. It's got a mark on the bottom, but that's well, hard to identify. I don't know what that means, but I know that it's probably... You know, maybe hand potted. It's not mass produced. It appears to be hand painted, hand glazed uh, situation. So this was three bucks. They had that marked three bucks. This, I have it's upside down. This is uh, made by a company called Noritake. A very delicate, very uh, thin uh, little dish there. Uh, this is from Japan, Noritake. We've had Noritake stuff on the show. This was $3, but when I combine it all, it was about 11 bucks. A dish, I'll probably get $10, $15. This is hull pottery. This was like a dollar in that. I mean, that's like $9 there. And then these two pieces, I'm a sucker for this blue glass, man. I really do. I really do like it. This was two, this was three, this is probably 15, and this is probably 10. And all that stuff for 11 bucks turns out to be about 50, 55 dollars worth of stuff. No joke. So that's uh, in a garage sale setting. Now, um, 
in a indoor flea market scenario. I got these bad boys. This one was four dollars for a set. Four bucks. I'm gonna sell this for 28 bucks. This is in perfect condition. I'm gonna make about $24 off this just for picking up. Uh, it's got a great 60s look. It is from Japan. Uh, it's got that little foil sticker on it. I can't remember what it was. It was Royal Sealy. I've never heard of Royal Sealy. But uh, again, without getting into the minutia of researching it, I think it's probably 28 bucks minimum. Um, I found this amazing little desk lamp. I mean, amazing's maybe a stretch. But these little desk lamps sell for 15, 16 bucks. This was three dollars, so I pick them up every time I see them. Move that. Next thing I found at Goodwill, I found a set of these with the glasses for $5.99. Five glasses. I broke one in the in the earlier recording. It was truly a take two situation because I broke one setting up for this. But I'm not gonna cry over broken glass or spilt milk for that matter but six bucks i'm in at uh six i'm probably on the other side at about 25 for the set five glasses and a pitcher 24 25 dollars <laughs> seems to be the going rate now we're close to the end of this video and i think this shirt goes with this lamp i mean if you're talking about a guy who just enjoys 70s living this lamp would be important to have. Now, this was in a garage sale setting. This was in someone's driveway. Lady had $5 on it. Or actually, I said, how much do you want for the lamp? She said, $5. I said, would you take three? She said, yes, I will. And I said, I tell you what, keep the shade because it's hideous. And I'm going to take this lamp. And would, see that? Oh, that, that uh, three-dimensional wheat. Boy, you don't see a lot of three-dimensional wheat lamps ever. And this one was three bucks. I'm going to put a nice shade on this and sell it for about 40 bucks. It might go for 30, but I mean, truly, you just don't see that stuff. So, cool 80s lamp, great color. Um, we're getting close to the end. What do I have? I have these three things for $1.50. $1.50. Look at these. Oh my gosh, yep, and then this gal cleaning. Now, look, these are 10 bucks a piece in good frames, so I'm going to have to take these out of these cheap frames and put them in nice frames. 10 bucks a piece, I paid a buck 50. That's $28 profit. I'll just throw these in my booth and boom, they will sell. People love embroidery, especially 70s embroidery. Speaking of good deals, I found this beautiful God Bless Our Home. These, I love these. Look at that house. Fantastic. House in the woods. This was 99 cents. This is sell for 15 bucks very easily. Old, probably 1960s. 99 cents. This is four. Whoops. This is $14 in profit. All right. Um, we're getting close to the end. I think this is the end. Are we done? Did I miss anything? Uh, it looks like I got, I covered everything. We're down to our last and final item. I can't believe. Oh no. This, I'm gonna have to sign in. That's how long this video is. I'm gonna have to sign back in. This is terrible. This is, can you believe people subscribe to this? <laughs> 2,000 people can't be wrong, right? Oh, and, and that didn't take. No, we're going to stay with me. Uh, if you want to win that dolphin, you're going to want to stay with me. Oh, my gosh. This is, I should edit this. This is embarrassing okay hey we're back look at this 
Good mod money, take two. This is the prize wheel as promised. We're gonna look at our final item. Sometimes when we're at fleet at garage sales, we go, oh, is there anything? Should we drive by? And we go, is, does it look like we should stop here? And I said, yeah, I think we should. I'll just go run in there and see if they have anything. And what I found were three, not a complete set. One's a little faded. The set, five bucks i've seen goodwill stores try to sell incomplete sets of pyrex for 70 dollars. you know a set of three missing a bowl or or, or whatever but three of these for five dollars this is about f minimum forty dollars in pyrex uh just these two alone 20 each and then the faded one try to get 10 for it you know you're looking at 40 50 bucks worth of pyrex for five dollars so the answer to should we stop at this garage sale is always yes, we should stop because you never know. All right, now I spent 65 bucks on everything you saw, $65. I don't think I missed anything. And when it's all said and done through my booths at the antique mall, three different antique malls, I'm going to make 407. I'm going to sell it for 470. So $400 profit on all of this. I, I put out 65 bucks of my own money. So you can do it too. Again, uh, you know, just uh, just keep watching the show and, uh, you know, research stuff. Watch other uh, resellers stuff. I mean, make sure you keep watching my show, but, you know, do your homework. So let's uh, let's get to see who won. Man, I'm excited. This is the best thing ever. Uh, we're gonna see who won the dolphin. This is what you've Skipped through the video to get to, I'm sure. Uh, not really. Um, all of this is pure gold. All right, we're getting to the winner. Good luck, everybody. Totally random. 56 people. You have a 1 in 56 chance. Let's do this. Debra Singer Sullivan, come on down. You need to send me an email at thriftstoreguy at hotmail.com. Thriftstoreguy at hotmail. And I will get your address and send you the brass dolphin, the brass ring, uh, this month's winner. Thank you for watching, everybody. And good luck. You'll win next time. You'll win next month. Thanks for watching uh, uh, this program, this uh award-winning internet program thank you for tuning in i appreciate all of you and remember you guys always round up